Today, the snow is starting to fall all over the place and it's getting colder and Tina and I still want to go exploring places, but let's put it this way, the camping season is kind of done for 2020, but that doesn't mean that we still can't explore places for next year. So we're out on a little road trip here with our trusty Swindle and we decided to come and check out a spot between uh, White Court and Grand Prairie. It's a fair sized lake and by the looks of it, it would be very popular in the summertime because there's a lot of spots here for camping and it's called Sturgeon Lake. It's actually really close to Valley View would be the closest town. And it seems like there's actually two spots to camp all around this lake that's uh, managed by the provincial government here. There's one that's on the south east side and then the one that we're at now is at it's called Young's Point which is actually on the northwest corner. It's an actual point with some campgrounds here. Here's a video of the actual campground here. You can see that there's like a little hiking trail right down here and there's a lot of facilities right in here and then there's another trail with another bolt launch up top here and there's all these anemones you need right down on the big horn loop it seems like there's actually some nice hiking trails here you could get up and down and around so this might be a good little spot to come and check out if we wanted to have a camping spot and also do some hiking here this actually gives you a better judgment here of the big horn loop which would be uh way down here see there's a bunch of camping spots right in here so there's uh 34 ish that would be uh the big horn loop here oh and then there's a b and c which is all over in here which you can see up in there so this would be the more crowded area so i guess yeah this would get kind of a busy spot i kind of like how you have two different roads out of here which is kind of nice and this is kind of remote too where you don't have any other access and it'd be nice to kind of it's too bad that these roads don't follow the lake it'd be kind of nice to explore the lake that way We're at the Big Horn actually bolt launch here. So there's the bolt launch and you can see Tina right down there as she waves over. And this, there's a bathroom in here. And then you can see in the background, right over here, that there's another facility building here and another parked area from down here. And it's not that far away actually at all. So see here, you can actually have a day use area there. And there's actually a third spot over there where you could actually get a boat into the water. But that's just like a little dock. If you wanted to hand bomb a canoe or a kayak, you could probably use this area here. Here it is, the main Young Point Provincial Park Sturgeon Lake boat launch. This is a, I like taking videos of these here because you can see here if you're an angler, this is the actual deepest part here, the dark purple, which would be eight to nine meters. And surrounding that whole area, you'd be like seven to eight meters. So this is the deepest part of the lake right in here. And the rest is all the shallows here. Kind of makes you wonder what's going on right in the middle of the lake you wouldn't think so but there's a shallow part here where it goes down to less than a meter there's like a little island 
it's been kind of been submerged. There's one of those in the Little McLeod Lake, actually, where you, you all of a sudden you're uh, you're on a canoe and you're going around and you look down and then there's like literally like two feet of water. And this is the other point here where you can actually go and camp at the Williamson Provincial Park here. But this young points, you can obviously tell that they have a larger area here. We are Halloween day, October 31st. Still not frozen. And the crazy thing is, there's a bunch of guys over there. You can see them. They're fishing on Halloween day because it's still not frozen and uh, it's still open. And once there's ice on the lake, then you're going to be stuck for at least a month or two before you can actually start ice fishing. For those who don't know the restrictions here on Sturgeon Lake, it's walleye, limit of one. 45 to 50 centimeters. They do that so that they can keep a certain population in there. And there's not enough northern pike. You have to basically catch and release all of them. Five perch and no whitefish. And burbot is 10. I've seen burbot limits on a lot of lakes in Alberta. I've literally yet to catch one in Alberta. 